Hey, I'm Kat Greenleaf. Welcome to Talk Stoop. This is my stoop, and of course, this is Emmy, super famous, super plus size model. Emmy. Here's Emmy. It's our Entertainment Tonight cover story. Emmy, do you ever get sick of people just starting off with your plus size? I I'm a model, and obviously, I'm not, you know, skinny, skinny. No, I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. Do you get bored when people want to bring it up? You know, it, it seems like it's quite the, the topic of conversation these days. Wow! <laughs> Julio! You want a little water? Is that okay? There's a tail in your no, water? Right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I love dogs. My daughter loves dogs. She wants a dog so badly. Let's talk about your daughter. What's it like being a single mom and a single mom who's professional and out there and very famous? It's wonderful. It's my pride and joy. You know, she's making me potions. Uh, love potions for the next wonderful guy to come into my life. What are you looking for? <laughs> no one too young. No one too young. No one too young okay. and no one too old. You know, it has to be young at heart. Okay. And if, if being a little taller would be good. So we need a guy in his mid 40s to early 50s. Early 50s. Uh, really into what you do, athletic, <laughs> taller than Emmy, somehow finding it in your heart to fall in love with the gorgeous supermodel who's already got a really well established life and everything and uh, probably pays for travel. herself. Right. Um, and if you're interested, Contact me, cat.greenleaf at nbcuni.com. AKA and I, Yenta. I'll set it up. I'll, could you imagine? Oh my God. Our first talk stoop couple. It's too cute. I love it. It's too cute. I hope it happens. So, speaking of setting people up, yes. I know you have a dating show. Would you call Immortal Love an inspirational show because it's people who aren't necessarily size twos and fours falling in love? I mean, thank you. Or is it a little bit of a novelty and an oddity. It's revolutionary because it's the first ever. After Luke has made his decision, at first it's going to seem odd to see larger frames kissing and holding and hugging, but you almost go, well, it's about time. Because the average American person or woman is a size 12 and above, and that's 62 million women. There's a bit of an educational aspect happening here. There, you know, where you don't see imagery like this and you go, oh my gosh. But then again, there's a part of you that says, okay, that looks like my neighbor, where that looks like me. Besides the glory and the glamour of your career, which has been truly amazing, there have been some darker times. I know you had a cancer scare. I did. Um, a little bit of a painful upbringing in terms of right. your stepdad and, and weight, body image, all that stuff, yeah. Tell us a little bit about how those experiences uh, manifested and affected how you are today. Well, everything that we are today has come from what we were and how we reacted to it. This is what you know I've learned. I always felt this queer, some weird feeling about I'm too much. I have too much. And I worked that out through therapy and I've worked that out through my work in, in blogging and in magazine articles and the shows that I do. Do you thank cancer? And do you thank your stepfather who made it a little challenging for you with your weight. Do you thank them for what it led you to become? I don't thank my stepfather, because I don't think any stepfather or any father should ever show their love for a child by really emotionally abusing you and, and drawing on your body, saying these are your fat areas that you will have. I appreciated the perspective that it pushed and propelled me to say, you're wrong. Life is so short, I don't want to hang on to junk. Amen. And I'm going to find you a boyfriend who might become your <laughs> husband. Cat.greenleaf at NBCUNI.com for a date with Emmy. Email. Stop it. Oh, she doesn't mean stop it. She wants an email. Thanks for being on the stoop. Thank you.